Hello and welcome back. For those of you who are new here, my name is Lexi and I like to talk about luxury beauty. At the end of every month, I like to do a repurchase review where I go through the items that I featured in the videos on my channel this month and whether or not I would buy them again if I were to, doing it, to do it all over again knowing what I know now. So uh, we're going to run through things pretty quickly because this was a very heavy month and I do have a video where I went through the Chanel and Dior releases and what my favorite items were on that. So I don't want to like repeat myself. So we're going to go through some of those items pretty quickly and yeah, let's get started. We're going to work our way backwards. So we're starting off with the two new cream eyeshadow quads from Tom, Tom Ford. So this one here is Rose Topaz. I really like this one. This one I would pick up again. It's a really great neutral. I kind of think of it as an updated nude dip. It's a little bit warmer in tone than nude dip, but it's still a little bit on the cooler neutral side. And I think the cream formula is better than their traditional matte uh, flat pan shadows. So uh, I would pick up Rose Topaz, Smoky Quartz, performs nicely, but the color story is not for me. It actually looks cooler here with this, you know, the, the traditional Tom Ford packaging surrounding it. We've got kind of the black here, this black border makes it look cooler than it does when you actually swatch it. It looks a lot warmer in person and on my eyes. So the color story is not great for me. So I would skip Smoky Topaz or Smoky Quartz. I always mix up those names. And then moving on, we have the limited edition eyeshadow quad from Tom Ford in X1 Metal S. This is part of the Badass Extreme line. I love this quad. I think this is great if you are looking for neutrals and you like some shimmer. This is the, the palette I would recommend. Um, you know, I have to say, I think going through all of the palettes I tried this month, this one is my favorite. So out of the Chanel and the Dior and um, the Surratt, everything, this one is actually my favorite for this month. It's, I don't know. I mean, you have, you have to want the colors, of course, but the formula is great. And for me, this is just the best Tom Ford palette I have picked up in many releases from him now. So I'm very, very happy with this. Moving on to Suku, we're not going to go ahead and go through all of these again. I have a pretty extensive video with all the items I picked up from the Suku collection, but there were three new quads. This is my favorite of the three. This is 08, which is permanent. One of the great things about the Suku collection is that the majority of the items they released were permanent. So for me, the eyeshadow quads, I would pick up all three of them again, 07, 08, and 112, which is limited edition. I really like all of those. The lipsticks, I picked up three of the four lipsticks. Two of them are permanent. My favorites are the 11, which I've been wearing nonstop. This is definitely a one that, you know, it's a must have for me. <laughs> so I really love this shade. It's a great everyday shade. I'm also really enjoying 106, which is limited edition. So, there's 106. So I'm really liking both of those. I would pass on the 12 for my coloring because it's a little bit warmer for me. But if you prefer the warmer tones, 12 is a great shade. And then I picked up all the blushes except for number one, which I'm missing. And I have to say, I really love this new formula. I'm really enjoying all of the blushes that I picked up. But my favorites are probably two three, four, and seven. Uh, two is a cool pink shade. And I have to say, I think out of all of the shades, number four is what I'm reaching for the most. This one here is three, which is a really nice coral shade. I've been using this one a lot as well. So really great formula. I think they're very nice. I would pick up all of them again, but again, two, three, four, and seven are my favorites. And again, I'm missing number one, which is the lavender shade. Next, we have the Clay de Peau Concealer. So this is the new version. And if I were in need of a concealer and I wanted something, I, I call it a stronger medium coverage. I don't really consider it a true full coverage because there's it's not completely opaque. But um, you know, if you want something medium to buildable full coverage, I think this is a good one to pick up. 
I would pick this one up again, but honestly, it takes so long for me to go through these tubes, like years, because I use so little of it at a time. So I do think that's a good one. Um, so I have to say this month, I got really lucky. There's not much that I went and repurchased. It was a really great and very busy month for releases. All right, next up, we had a trying new makeup video and I tried the new Makeup by Mario Plumping Lip Serum Balms. I would pick that up again. I'd pick up another color. I really like those. I also tried out the new Victoria Beckham liner in olive and I really like how creamy it is. I love the color. I would pick this up again. However, I do have to say that the Sisley Matte Jungle Eyeliner, I mean, this one's more matte. There's a tiny little bit of a shimmer in the Victoria Beckham, but you can see how close the colors are. This one's Sisley, this is Victoria Beckham. I already had this, <laughs> um, so if I had to pick between the two of them, the Sisley for me works a little bit better than the Victoria Beckham because this one stays put better for me. Whereas Victoria Beckham, I know for some people it stays, lasts all day, and it does for me unless it's anywhere near my waterline. Whereas the Sisley I can actually use in my waterline. All right, and then I also picked up the Chanel La Comet blushes, and you can see there's a star here, but you see like a CC in the mirror. You get the ankle just right. And I really like both of the blushes. To be honest, I'd pick them up, <laughs> pick both of them up again. But I have to say, if you have the Fleur de Printemps from last year's Chanel Spring Collection, I don't think you need the coral one. I think they're close enough. Um, but this shade here, Pesh Cosmique, I think is beautiful. And it's not going to be a blush, really. <laughs> I don't really get color from it, but what I get is a great mixer for blushes. It helps me dilute stronger colors. It gives me a little bit of a sheen. It acts as a subtle highlight. You can even use it as a finishing powder. I just think it's a really versatile product. So this is one that I would definitely pick up. And Just Glow Firefly and I, we team up for ATLB. So every Sunday we have a YouTube video. And this past Sunday, we did our top five from the Chanel and Dior collections. So top five between all of those items. So definitely check that out if you're interested. This did make it to my top five. All right, next we have Dior lip balms. And I have to say the Dior New Look lip balm in New Rose 728. This is a limited edition, the New Look collection. So you can find this on the Dior website. It's going in and out of stock all the time. So you kind of have to stock it a little bit. But... It's not with the other lip balms. It's actually with the Dior New Look lipsticks. So they have the lipsticks and lip balms together for this packaging. And this shade is definitely a win for me. Uh, yeah, I think it's fantastic. It's like a rosewood shade. And I like this Dior lip balm formula. Another one of the lip balms I really like is 586 Dior Bloom. And this is going to be more of a pink. Now, I also picked up a really light pink one. I actually have that down on my desk right now. I should have brought that up, but it's called uh, Dior Essence, and it looks like a really pretty soft petal pink in the bullet. It's pretty much clear. That I would not purchase again. It's on my desk because I'm using it up as plain chapstick. <laughs> but um, yeah, unfortunately, that one I don't think is worth the splurge. Now, another Dior lip balm I picked up is 200 Bell Terra, or Terra Bella, sorry. And this is one of the matte ones. And I like how Dior has different finishes. You know, if you like matte lip balms, or if you like satin, you have choices there. And I think it's nice to have one of the matte ones. This is a little bit warmer of a brown than I was hoping for based on the, the photos online, but I like it. So I would probably pick this one you know, I don't know. I'd probably try to pick a different shade, but I'd like having something in the matte formula to try. But honestly, the New Rose and the Dior Bloom are my two favorites from the lip balms I've tried so far. Next, we talked about some of the Byredo brushes. And I really like these. Actually, in my video on the brushes, I have the Sonia G the Lunar New Year brushes and these Byredo brushes in there. And I kind of go through what my favorites are. Brushes one and three for the eyes, I keep using all the time. Those are definitely the two that I like the most. It's not the most innovative, you know, shape or anything, but I think the sizes are great. They work well, 
And the best thing is that these work so well with the Byredo eyeshadow formula so that I can use a brush and not my fingers. But I've been using them with all sorts of shadows. This is actually in my dirty pile right now because I just used it today. So fantastic brush. I really like them. I like all of the ones that I picked up, but one and three are my favorite from the eye brushes. And I do think that this cheek brush is really useful as well. So this is number 31. So those are favorites. The Sonia G Yakusuki brushes. These are definitely something very special. I would pick it up again, not to get duplicates, but I mean, if I were starting over again, just because it's nice to have, you know, that one special set, which is what it is for me. And then the Lunar New Year brushes. I didn't pick up the Beauty Lush one this year. I did pick up the Coyoto one and I picked that one up again. I think it's a nice brush. It's a good one to have. It's not my favorite brush though. So I think if you're trying to have a really curated brush collection, you can probably get something else unless you are in love with the design. Now out of all the lip products I tried this month, and I tried a lot, my favorites are the Guerlain Legendary Red collections. I mean, these are really like my favorite red lipsticks now. I wear one at least every week right now. I picked up all of the mattes. I had two of the satins in my video, but now I have all of them. It just arrived. I haven't gotten to open it yet. My favorite shades, probably the 1830, which is a little warmer in tone than the others, but it's just, it's balanced so beautifully that even though it has those warmer tones to it, it works well on like a variety of undertones. So I really love all of them though. I'm, that's why I had to get all six. <laughs> but I feel like these are the best red lipsticks. I would pick up all of them again. I've actually considered getting backups, but honestly, I don't need backups for anything. So I try not to do that, but they are backup worthy lipsticks in my opinion. Now for Dior Spring and Chanel Spring, I went through all of those collections in detail in the videos and I tried to give you guys my favorites in there. I also did the Dior and Chanel kind of roundup on all of those. So I'm not gonna go through all of those products again, but just a couple of things that would stand out to me. I would have to say that this gloss here from Dior in the shade Opal 027, it's not worth purchasing unless you're looking for something sheer with just a little extra reflection. There's a little bit of a holographic finish to it. But if I had to choose between this and Pat McGrath Alienjelic, I would pick Alienjelic over this. So I, I personally don't think this is worth it. I think Alienjelic is very close to it, but slightly better. And then out of the lipsticks, I think the La Comet lipsticks are really nice. I think it's if you've got the budget to spend on it, maybe pick up one because it's nice packaging, nice limited edition. And I have to say, although 178 is kind of a patchy shade, it's my favorite. <laughs> so um, when you put it on Shirley, it can be a little patchy, but I mean, look at that. It's a, a brown purple shade. It's gorgeous. I love the color. These do have a little bit of a shimmer to them because there is a little bit of glitter in there. Not much. You don't have like glitter lips or anything. But I love that one. And 118 Bois de Rose Astral is another one of my favorites for that. Then the Chanel Lip Balms. Loving 914 Natural Charm. Been using 912 Dreamy White a lot. And also My Rose, which I think that was that's probably 918. And those are the ones I've been using a ton, but honestly, I've been wearing all of them. They go on very nicely. I like them. I've been wearing a lot of these color lip balms in place of lipstick recently. And then the Chanel number no. one lip and cheek products. I like these and I like them because after you put them on, yes, it feels a little sticky to the touch, but then it soaks into your skin after a few minutes. And then it's like, dry and smooth to the touch. So nothing like sticks to it or anything, unless you put on a whole lot, which I don't do. Um, but some of the deeper shades, they work really well underneath foundation and so forth, like Berry Boost. I like to put that one on underneath, but other shades like this one here is so unique. It's called, um, this one's Wake Up Pink and it looks like orange, right? <laughs> but then you put it on and you blend that out and you get more of these like pinky tones to it. 
and it really does give you a healthy flush. My favorite of these is Five Rosewood, and it's probably followed by this one for Wake Up Pink and number one, the Red Camellia shade. I just love the, the flush you can get from that when you put that on lightly. All right, eyeshadow quads. I really like the Chanel Mediterranean. I would pick this one up again. I think it's great. However, if I had to choose between this and the Dior, the Dior Organza is actually, they're fairly similar. So I would actually pick um, the Dior over the Chanel in this case. Uh, it's a little bit more versatile and I think I, there's just something about the tones that I like slightly more, but I think this is a really great palette. I would pick up both of these again. Popoline, the pink one, I would, I would pass on that one. Um, I like it, but it's just those pink shades all look pretty much the same on my eyes. So it's just, it's not really worth it. And I'm not going to wear pink shadows that, that much. So I would pass on Popoline. So here's Popoline. And again, you know, they look pretty different in the pan, but they look pretty similar on the eyes. These two do. The one here in the middle, that one definitely is much cooler in tone, um, but they're just not different enough for me. Then we have all the glow sticks and we also have the Chanel glow stick. I don't use glow sticks enough. So unless you're somebody who really loves that type of product a lot, I don't think they're really necessary, but my favorite of the three stick products that I picked up is the Dior Opal Highlight. I think this is a really pretty shade, but it's gonna be very light. You can see it's a white holographic look. So, you know, it kind of pick and choose what you want, but honestly, I like all three of them. I'd pick up all three of them again. But if you're not somebody who reaches for these products, I'll, this type of product a lot, you know, it, these are not necessarily like the best version or the best shades of these types of products. So if you're somebody who loves them, these new colors are great. If you're somebody who uses them rarely, I don't think any of those are a must have. One thing I wanted to mention, the Chanel number no. one uh, skincare collection, I tried all those samples, I used them up. And I did purchase the serum and the cleanser in full sizes because I really like those. I haven't started using the serum yet. I'm using up my current skincare before I add that in, but I am using that cleanser. It's definitely something I'm going to repurchase. That is a powder product. You get a little wet and it foams up. There's no exfoliation from the, the powder. I also really like the fragrance from there. So I think they have some really nice winners and it's kind of nice that they are available at Ulta because it makes it a little bit easier to access. I have noticed that some of the coupons I've already gotten for Ulta do explicitly say that they exclude Chanel. So just something to note. <laughs> I also wanted to look at the Chanel Blush Lumieres. This is Brun Roussi and this one is similar to the I think it's called like Brun Rouge. I don't have it. Uh, that came out last year from Chanel, but this one has some gold shimmer to it. And then we also have Peche Rosé. I really like Brun Rouge. <laughs> I don't really like Peche Rosé. That the color is just not for me. And it has the gold tones in here are much stronger, much more evident when you put them on the cheek than it is in Brun Rouge. And I think that's just the nature of how the, the colors play together and how they catch the light. But the Brun Rouge, I really like that. However, if you have the Chanel blush in, I think it's Brun Rouge, you don't need this one because they're essentially the same. Very, very close. Just this one has gold shimmer. But I have to say, I've been wearing this one a lot. I really like it. All right, and then I don't have this one assembled anymore, but I had recreated the Surat La Jolie palette that they have in collaboration with Beautylish. It's available only on Beautylish. And I love that palette. I think it is fantastic. Those shades, I already had them individually. And I mean, they have some of my favorite shades in there like Ombra. Truth is another like great, like deep brown shade. The blush is like one of my most used Surat blushes. I think it's a really great, versatile eye and cheek palette. I think it's fantastic. I would definitely purchase it if I didn't already have the singles. All right, so that's everything that I picked up. I would have to say the highlights for me this month 
would be the Bramerousse from Chanel, the Peche Cosmique from Chanel, the Powder Cleanser from Chanel. Wow, it's a big Chanel month. Um, the Also the Surat Palette, the Guerlain Legendary Reds, and then the Tom Ford Metalist Palette. Those are probably my favorite items from this month. Of course, I love the balms and everything as well. For the balms, my favorite would be the Dior Rose New Lip Balm in the New Look Packaging. And, you know, I think it's really great to have the Chanel balms as well and the 178 La Comet Lipstick. But if I had to pick only one lip product this month, it's gonna be those Guerlain lipsticks. I mean, they are incredible. So other things I've been using, honestly, I haven't had that much time to use anything else, but I have a couple of staples I have been reaching for. I have opened up a new tube of my favorite mascara, the Sicily So Stretched. I like the brown shade, number two. So I've been using that as well as the Surat Nora Lash Tint, which I'm using up right now. These are both repeat purchases for me. And I've been using the Sisley Fido Pudra Compact in shade number one, Rosy, as a light dusting all the time, as well as the Suku Matte Powder, the one that is pink. So this one here, it's I've been using this a lot as well. And the Chantecaille Eclat Dew, if you can get your hands on it. So those are kind of the powders I've been reaching for. Foundations, I've been wearing a different foundation every day as I go through my foundation stash for a new roundup video. Um, but yeah, those are fantastic. And other lip products I've been reaching for are the same ones I've been reaching for every month, like Tom Ford Sugar Glider, um, my Givenchy The Rouge Sheer Velvets, and you know particularly well all of the colors really <laughs> but those are just kind of some staples i've been using pretty much every single day so i hope this was helpful i'd love to know what your favorites were from this month what things did you purchase or are you considering purchasing from all of these collections it was a crazy crazy release month and let's hope it slows down a little bit so we all have a chance to save some pennies for the next set of launches. So, Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful and please be sure to let me know your favorites down below in the comment section. I hope to see you very soon. So have a great day and stay safe and healthy.